Good morning. This is Andy Tuttle with the Tuttle Group at Fairway. Hope you're doing well. My uh, video camera is that giving me some problems th today, so I wanted to at least get you out uh, something for this week. Uh, remember, we're looking right now at the uh, mortgage-backed security price chart. So the higher the price, the lower the rate, and vice versa. We've seen a good move up since the. Um, end of March, beginning of April with a little bit of a normal roller coaster uh, that we are used to, but we sit right now in between uh, a pretty right in the middle of a pretty large trading range. Uh, here this blue line is a 200 day moving average which is a strong ceiling of resistance or strong floor of support historically. We've been kind of battling with this the last couple of weeks and now we are very tight right uh, smack on the 200 day in a very tight uh, window here of resistance and so uh, resistance and then support right below so we'll be watching this next week it will squeeze out one way or the other it's a light economic news week in fact let me show you that economic report for next week we really don't have anything Monday or Tuesday and just a few reports Wednesday through Friday this last week um, Thursday and Friday the news reports came out uh, Friday for home sales, new permits, new starts, which is new construction. That's only about 10% of the market, but regardless, everything was a little bit of a miss. The demand is there, but again, inventory is low, which means just a fewer sales out there and a little more competitive competition in the marketplace, which, you know, again, justifies the appreciation that we're seeing, especially in Dallas Fort Worth, where more jobs continue to, to flood in, more uh, relocations from other states. Uh, and we are going to continue to see the demand for housing go up. And so this is, with the rates where we're at, a great opportunity to buy. So stay in the hunt out there. I know it's hard, but remember, you've got great agents on your side. When you make an offer, they will let us know. And so we can help call the listing agent, do our work for you, and get you that contract and help you beat out the other competitive bids. What to look for next week. Uh, is mostly technicals are going to drive the market and anything of course sadly that happens even overseas across the shores and uh, bad news that may come here uh, could spur uh, market volatility uh, the last report on, from the Fed they raised the rate but like we say a lot you know that doesn't necessarily mean when they raise the Fed funds rate that it's going to raise the mortgage interest rates in fact the day that happened we saw rates improve for a short time and now have they digested the news stayed in this tight trading range so remember just because the Fed moves that rate doesn't mean mortgages are going to go in lockstep with that Fed fund rate affects your adjustable rate mortgage loans on your mortgage it affects credit cards it affects lines of credit things like that so we'll be watching very carefully we'll be in a carefully floating position uh, at the beginning of next week and see where this breaks out one way or the other if anything changes we'll get back to you of course uh, but uh, stay stay in the fight stay hungry and uh, uh, keep working with your realtors to get that contract. We'll be here to help you with the financing when it comes. Have a great day.